Manatee County school leaders are now taking steps to fight racial injustice in the classroom. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Mazzella shows us the new policy changes that they're considering. The school board is now considering having educators complete a minimum of four hours of implicit bias training in the upcoming school year. This is a type of diversity training that can help lessen racial disparities in a school district. It allows teachers to better understand their own reactions towards students and the effect these biases can have on them. At Tuesday evening's board meeting, they also talked about helping students register to vote on campus, possibly through a government class. One board member says this would be key in making student voices heard on key issues like racial discrimination. Protest is a language of the unheard. And right now, we have an opportunity to gather the attention of young people and put it where, in a proper way, where it should be. The school board also worked on drafting a statement about how they'll address racial inequality in the school district moving forward. They'll be talking more about these potential policy changes at a workshop on Thursday. And coming up ahead in our next half hour, we're talking about what it will take to reopen Manatee County schools come fall and how you can weigh in with school leaders. In Tampa, I'm Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.